My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a 1969 Chevelle SS396. Recently, it's undergone a body off the frame restoration. It has its correct motor, it has factory air, power steering, power disc brakes, bucket seats, console. So it's ready for show and go. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures. That's where you'll find the prices on all the collector cars that we offer for sale. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Underneath the car is really impressive. Like it says, the body was off the frame. I got the car down south, it has really clean floors, all the braces and uh, floor pans, everything looks really nice. It's all been prepped and painted uh, semi-gloss to gloss black. Uh, and it's all been rebuilt. The whole front end, the steering, suspension, spring shocks, all that's been redone front and back. It has the F41 suspension. That means it has sway bars front and back and it has boxed uh, rear control arms. The gas tank is new, including the straps, the sending unit, the fuel lines, even the wiring harness going to it's new. Uh, new dual exhaust has Flowmaster mufflers and the right cowbell tips. Uh, the brakes have all been redone, the hoses, the e-brake cable, uh, it's got disc brakes in front. Also got a bunch of handprints right here. <laughs> Guess I should have looked at that before we started. You look up at the motor, it's just immaculate. Now, I said it has the correct motor. It might be the original motor because the casting code is unique to a 69 Chevelle only. Uh, the date is proper. It says high perf uh, on the side of the block. And then the stamp up on the front, it does have dates. It's uh, June 30th. That's when the engine was assembled. And then the car was uh, finalized in July. So the dates line up really good. The code is JK, which is a 396, 325 horsepower Chevelle motor mated to an automatic. The actual VIN number is not on the pad. Sometimes in 69, they stamped them down by the oil filter and they're really hard to read and uh, we didn't even look for it, but uh, it's, it's the correct motor uh, for this car. Uh, but getting back to underneath, it has a turbo 400 automatic. It is a 1968 transmission, so it's a correct one, but not the original. It does have its original 12 bolt rear end. The code I looked up said it was unique for a 396 car. So underneath the car looks practically new. This is actually fathom green, uh, we were just having a conversation that it looks black. I don't know how it looks on your TV. Hopefully as it goes around and the light hits it, you can see a little bit of the green, but it's a really dark uh, metallic green. I think it's really handsome. I actually like the green vinyl top with it. So the metal flake is laid out evenly. I don't see any problems, no issues in here. The trunk fits real nice. All this lines up good. This is smooth. No bubbles, all smooth, flush too. That door is flush, doesn't stick out at all. No bubbles, it's all real nice. There's a mark on the bottom, I think it rubs off. A scuff on the paint, no, that's coming off. Metal fender. So this side of the body is really straight, smooth. I don't see issues, lines up really well. Has the SS stripe. New emblems, mirrors, door handle, vinyl top is new, windshield's new. Does have a cowl hood. They didn't have cowl hoods in 69, so this is a custom upgrade someone put on here. It is metal. Marker lights are new. All the grill, bezels, emblem, lenses, bumper, everything up front here is new. This side is just as nice as the other side. I was telling you, it's all smooth along the bottom. Same thing here. There's a little nick in the paint right down there on the rocker. This is all smooth. This door sticks out just a, just a hair on this side, but it lines up square. Now these are SS wheels. They're 15 inch, so they are reproduction wheels, one inch bigger than the original. 
tires look new, the weather strips have been replaced, door jams are painted real nice, <clears throat> new sill plates, everything back here is replaced, tail lights, the trim, bumper has the blacked out panel here that's proper for an SS. Someone did uh, make the antenna a power antenna. The rear window has been replaced as well. Now, really clean dry metal in here and someone did a really good job of duplicating what the factory spatter finish. The stuff that everyone gets in the spray can is a little different than the factory. This is uh, a really good duplication of that. All clean metal, has a jack and a spare. Bottom of the trunk lid, the jam are painted nice. New weather strip, new stickers, new seat divider. The interior has been restored. The carpet's replaced, the seats uh, reupholstered, uh, new headrest, new chrome trim, new seat backs, has a complete set of original GM seat belts, door panels, armrests, window cranks, all of that's replaced. There is a chip on the corner of this hood that's touched up. The color matches real close. So we got factory air, we got power steering, power brakes. It's a restored motor compartment. Cadmium plated booster, new master cylinder. Uh, the metal components are painted glossier than original, so it looks really sharp. It has reproduction valve covers, an air cleaner with the right stickers, the right exhaust manifolds. It is a GM aluminum intake that's on there. The pulleys, alternator, brackets, shroud, all that looks to be in really good shape. Dash pad is new. The heater control panel has been replaced. The instrument panel is new. The vents look like they're original. Someone painted them silver. I think the center console is all new. It has a retro stereo in it. Deluxe steering wheel. Carpet's a little wrinkled, a little baggy. Whoever put it in could have done a little better job installing the carpet. I've done it myself. It's not as easy as it sounds. Yeah, great sounding cam. New mirror. sounds great it sounds strong it's got a little bit of a high idle that's what it's supposed to do until it warms up so you got good clean frame off restored air conditioned 396 Chevelle here great for cruising to the car shows you can go to volocars.com because I just gave you my impression of this car but there's plenty of ways on our website to get in contact with the salesman if you have questions or concerns, feel free to ask. They will help you out. And they can also help get this delivered anywhere in the country. And they can help with financing. That's at volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on that bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.